Friends are remembering the legacy left behind by a Fort Smith woman who died trapped inside her car during a flash flood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Crystal Martinez. Fox 24's Lauren Craycall is in Fort Smith at the church Debbie Stevens taught preschool at for more than a decade. She tells us how Stevens' friends are coming together to keep her memory alive. Debbie Stevens spent every Sunday here at Eastside Baptist Church. Her friends in Fort Smith say she worked with kids and she treated them as if they were her own. I miss her. I miss her terribly. And this whole place just seems so lost without her and with the kids. 47 year old Deborah Stevens drowned last weekend after swift waters washed her car off the roadway. She was out delivering newspapers. Stevens' horrific 911 call, making national news, has her friends and family trying to remember her as the woman who always went above and beyond. She was always here early, always the first one here. Um, a lot of times she beat me here. <laughs> Sheila McCormick is the preschool ministry director at Eastside Baptist Church, the place Stevens taught preschool for more than a decade at. Debbie couldn't have her own kids, and so she had her kids here, and that was her ministry. Um, that was her love. McCormick says Stevens put all her time and energy into the kids, leaving a lasting impact on everyone she taught. We are beginning to get questions like, uh, where's Miss Debbie? I just said, she can't be here right now. Like McCormick, Linda Wood works at the church as a kindergarten Sunday school teacher. She too was a friend of Stevens. People care for her and loved her so much, her and her mom. The church is raising money for a memorial to be placed where both Wood and McCormick say Stevens love the most. I'll fight this Goliath for you. The classroom she taught in. It was just, she was just, she really had that love for them. That's what she would want, something for the kids. If you want to help out Stevens' family, the coffee shop in Eastside Baptist Church is using the money they raised this month to help pay for her funeral cost. In Fort Smith, Lauren Craycall, Fox 24 News.